meet one of the West End's up-and-coming stars, Celia Lipton, as she appears as demure young Prudence Pym in a new revival of the Quaker Girl at the Stahl Theatre, playing opposite Billy Milton. how Celia looks on the stage, but in real life she's anything but an old-fashioned girl. As befits an up-to-date young star, she's more interested in the world of tomorrow than the world of yesterday. After the show, she joins her mother, wife of band leader Sidney Lipton, in a home of the future. The latest fabric Mrs. Lipton's looking at is made of glass, like everything else here. Glass is going to be used a lot in tomorrow's houses, and this is the latest in glass baths, with a glass stool to go with it. But there's no need to worry about it giving way when you sit in it. It's made by a new process and it's practically unbreakable. All the fittings are made of glass, and now we can take a peep at the up-to-the-minute fabric that Celia and her mother are so interested in. It's spun from threads of glass as fine as hairs and can be used for all decorative purposes such as curtains and cushion covers. And there's no fear of it ever shrinking when it's washed. Who ever heard of glass shrinking? Glass material hasn't reached the stage of being made into clothes yet, but it's only a matter of time before the Cinderella of tomorrow will be able to get her glass slippers from a shop without bothering with fairy godmothers. Ashtrays and ornaments will also be glass. Uh, don't ask me how the bubbles got in. Uh, if you want the latest lamps, you'll ask for glass too. Yes, the word glass house will mean something much nicer in the world of tomorrow.